short. Hey. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You need to sit in front of me. Stay in front of me. Stay then, then, then you're a little bit. Yeah. See. What's up, guys? Welcome to day 16, 23 of the vlog. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We are up and out of the house. It is, um, I can't tell time. I don't know why I switched my watch face to this. It's so much slower. I gotta like do the math. It's one, no, 12.30. 12.30, we're heading to the mall. Got a couple things to pick up through Aaron's Run. And there is a new restaurant slash bakery slash deli here that we're gonna try out uh, from Chompies. It's called Chompies, which is a bagel company here in Arizona. You may have seen the bagels at the store. I don't know. But they have a restaurant now, so we're gonna go check it out because uh, a sandwich sounds good. In other news, it's hot. 98 degrees at noon, which means it's probably gonna be over 100 degrees today for the high. And we're in September, guys. Like I said, Arizona, there's no fall. It just goes hot to cold. Ooh, look at the new patio. Looks cool. I don't know. Do you have the option of having a server? Maybe. I don't know. I like the patio. Hey, look, you're wearing shoes. I know. It's like the first time in months. I like it. That's good. Different. So I got a pastrami Reuben, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, some coleslaw, some homemade fries. And what did we learn about this place? Everything is like fresh, homemade. Nothing Everything. Boxes or cans. Like even your noodles in your chicken noodle soup. Yeah. Homemade. Homemade noodles here. All right. Awesome lunch. I'm full. I don't want you. That sandwich was was huge. They call them Mile House sandwiches for a reason. Uh, we're here at Dick's Sporting Goods now because uh, football guys, football is right around the corner and we're gonna get our tailgate on. And this year I think we're gonna start bringing our own stuff and start doing our own tailgating. Uh, we'll still hang out with our normal group but we'll have like our own like tailgate next to them. And so that means we need a couple of things. First thing we need of is a grill. And look at this. We have the whole like cardinal setup, right? Easy up, coolers, games, chairs. And we need a grill. And it's perfect. It has wheels, small, portable, lightweight. So we're grabbing one of those. What else do we need? Oh, I want a clear cardinal backpack. Because you can't take a person to the stadium. You have to have clear. Right. So let's try and find a clear backpack. All right, so no luck finding your clear backpack, right? No. At least not the one that you want. No. She wants the drawstring like backpack style. Like we have tons of those. So we have tons of those drawstring bags, but none of them are clear. And so she's just gonna try and find one on Amazon. Uh, but we're gonna pick up the grill and then we'll do one quick sweep of like all of, like the tailgating stuff and see if there's anything else that pops out of us that we might need on day one. Get the bottom one, maybe? No. You have to put that thing together? I hope not. I'm hoping it's like, oh, we're gonna literally just pop it up. That'd be awesome. Through. <laughs> they only had what three left? Two down here and one upstairs. So I'm oh guessing that's a good price. <laughs> Look at that, my score. You zoom in hard enough, you might be able to find it. <laughs> so I started watching this kid, uh, Tanner Fox, and uh, he rides scooters. And these aren't like Razor scooters, these are like pro scooters. I didn't even know pro scooters existed. Like, they're heavy duty, they got big handlebars, and the kid is crazy good. He like does twists and flips and uh, I mean all, pretty much like skating tricks on a scooter it's absolutely amazing I didn't know this even existed so anyways watching these watching this kid on the scooter like I, I have a razor scooter I used to ride a razor scooter around back in the day I even would take it with me to conferences and like ride it around like instead of like people taking penny boards I used to take a razor scooter and so like I'm kind of thinking like maybe I should get a scooter like scooters sound fun what do you guys think you guys think I should get a scooter I think Tanner Fox uses the lucky brand I'll look them up and see if there's any dealers uh, around here. I'll go looking at scooters. I don't know. Maybe I'm too big for a scooter. Maybe I'm too old for a scooter. I don't know. But we have skate parks, and uh, you know, I can throw a helmet on and go break my butt, right? Find a place. What? You find did. a place. You did. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we found this place here. They apparently sell scooters. Let's go take a look. And there we are. As soon as we walk in the door, look at that. Bam. I had no idea, you guys. It's crazy. I think Tyler used to have one of these now that I think about it. But look at them. They're like, they're like thick bars and sturdy wheels. What's up, guys? All right, so we're here in Biker's Edge. We got Sean helping us out behind the counter. What up, Sean? We got a couple of scooters here. And this is, this is a Phoenix. 
And then we got Ethic, which is Ethic, dude. It's matte black, you guys know. That's my style. Looks so good. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Which one? Which one? We got a couple different styles behind the counter, too. He had a couple Lucky brand. You got, got a couple Luckies? The Lucky right here. There's a purple one. That's the crew. The crew. Nice. Guys, this is ridiculous. I didn't know this even existed. Look at all this. You can totally customize your scooter. Different wheels, different rims, like goosenecks. Look at that. Even the boards. Oh, so cool. All right, well, they have scooters and a lot more than I was expecting. Like, I, I, I Lucky brand, I just know that because of Tanner. But, uh... Like it's own little section of just yeah. Things. I didn't, I did not realize scooters were that big of a thing, guys. Like, I'm a 34 year old dude, like, I didn't know, but uh, I used to ride, I have, I still have an old broken Razor scooter. I'll show you guys when we get home. The kids still ride around in the backyard, it has no grips, like, it's it's, it's literally like 15 years tell, old. Tell them the story, how did you get that? Oh my god, yeah. So, in the mall, in the mall, shopping for Christmas, I went into a, a, a toy store. And the, a guy like scared the crap out of me. He was like standing by the door. He like kind of jumped down and he goes, "Congratulations, you're like what, the thousandth customer, or I don't remember the number. It was like a thousand or ten thousand or whatever it was." He said, "Congratulations, you are this number customer. You win a Razor scooter." And and he handed me this Razor scooter. It was like the top of the line one. It had like the this, this shock and has the wheelie bar and has the lights and. Back then, that one was like the top of the line. Yeah. Razor and I don't even know how much it was, probably 150 bucks back then too. That's so funny, like these are like 200 bucks. That was probably 150 bucks back then. But yeah, I mean, now you look at it and it's like cheap and it's like no big deal, right? But but yeah, I used to ride that Razor scooter around. In fact, I, I said this earlier, I actually took it with me to LA when I flew to a conference and I rode the Razor scooter from my hotel to the conference back in LA. So scooters are a thing. I never never got into skateboarding. I still am not. I have a long board, but I never got into skating. I rollerbladed. But I never skated, and I think a scooter is actually more of my more style. So, look, look, guys, let me know what you think. You think it's? I think I'm too old for a scooter. I I should just not bad idea. I mean, I could always get a cheap Razor scooter, but I'm thinking if I get one of these, like you know, I could probably try to do some stuff at the skate park. And yeah, you're laughing at me. I know. <laughs> we'll have fun watching. We'll have fun. You'll have fun watching. That's for sure. That's for sure. Let me know in the comments below, guys. If you think I should get a scooter, I'll put a I'll put a poll here in the cards. Oh wait, wait. Oh, yeah, over here. Uh, if you think I should get a if I, sh if I should get one of those scooters a good one like a pro scooter, let me know All right, we got baby's bark box. Is it this month? In December, right? August I August think. this is August bark box. I mean, you guys know what bark box is. It's like a monthly subscription box It's got a, you pick your dog your, your size of your dog and then they give you they give you like monthly themed stuff it's, it's cool not sponsored just something cool with the dog. That's where she gets all our cool toys So there's a theme every month this month's theme is like summer yeah, beachy. Beachy. Oh, look at that, it's a camera. She look, She knows, she knows. Baby has her own camera. Oh, a camera. It's a movie camera. What else? That was a taco? Oh, it's a fish taco. It's a fish taco. Fish taco. <laughs> look it's, at that. It's literally a fish, that's, uh, that's the fish. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Get it, get it. Can I look the... some treats? Baja, Baja fish, fish biscuits? Baja biscuits. Mom, can you? Tinder sticks and a... Kneecap. Knuckle. Ooh, and baby, kneecap. want a kneecap? Ooh, kneecap. Yeah, there you go. All right, so Sierra has a dance, a school dance tonight, and so we're kind of just in chill mode for about another hour until she has to go to that, and then when we drop her off for the dance, we'll probably go grab dinner and uh, do something fun tonight, Friday night. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna watch the last pro motocross race, uh, Iron Man, because the season's over. And Supercross is almost through here. I'm excited. All right, mommy's doing the girly thing here, getting getting her all dolled up for her. Is this your first dance? No. No. No, I went to the one last year. Remember? I don't the remember. The neon dance. The glow in the dark. Oh, glow in the dark. dark. Yeah, shit, I forgot about that. All right. Well, still, she get, she's getting older. She's looking older. All right, Chica, off to have your dance. Have some fun. Yep. I'll be watching your Instagram stories. Okay. Dance your booty off. All right, so now that Sierra is off to her dance, it's time for some dinner. Or a happy hour, I don't know. I think it's, I'm not really ready for dinner, but I'm ready for a, I'm ready for a beer, some appetizers. We're heading over to State 48 Brewery. They got some amazing appetizers, and the menu rotates every month, so I'm excited to see what they got for September. All right, what is going on here? Look at this. All these bikes look the same. They're the same brand, same everything. They've got bottle openers. It says State 48 on them. They're totally their bikes. Look, it says State 40 State State my, my Bicycle Company. I wonder if you can rent these or something, or like take them home. 
Just get home? I don't know. We totally have to ask. They've been ridden though. The tires are like worn out, worn a little bit. They look really cool though. They're really cool. I want that green one. Yeah, that looks cool. Like that cool? A little cornhole action, dude? Yeah. Don't make fun of me guys because I am really rough camp. We haven't played, we, don't, we haven't played pretty much all summer. You know that? I think we played once in the beginning of summer and that's it. We didn't play the rest of summer. The boards have got dust on them. Uncle, you're exiled. So if we got the whole patio to ourselves, I don't think anyone wants to, wants to sit out here. It's too hot. It's, uh, it's 101 degrees. It's a breeze. But this is totally like Tiff and I's style. And the patio is awesome. They got all these big boots. Check out these size of these boots. Fire pit down the middle. Benches out in the rocks. Cornhole boards, Jenga, and there's a bunch of tables and chairs back there. This patio is huge. And I swear, I think once, once the weather gets a little better, this place is going to be rocking. <laughs> We got some ratatouille pizza. They make awesome flatbread pizzas here. We got some uh, mac and cheese, four cheese mac and cheese, fish tacos, and some beer cheese with some pretzels. OMG, it's amazing, you guys. earlier but we didn't play cornhole at all this summer. We played the beginning of summer, our first camping trip and that was it. <laughs> and did it work? I don't know, I couldn't tell. I'm like, just like chilling. <laughs> and we're back. And so is Sierra. How was your dance? Good. Was it fun? Mm -hmm. Did you dance with your boys? Did you kiss any boys? Yeah, her boyfriend. Did you kiss any girls? No. Oh. Did you get dance with any girls? Yeah. You danced with your friends? Say cheese. Okay. Bryce is making movies. <laughs> Did you go back to another dance? Yes. You like that kind of stuff, huh? <laughs> well, there you go, guys. That is our Friday. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for another day, another vlog, and another adventure. Bye! It's Justin from Texas. Vlog on.